And I'm back. So this is King Hippo, which is probably the most unique character in the game and probably has one of the more unique fighting styles and also more unique profiles with an undisclosed age and weight. Uh, King Hippo's... Uh, I, I, I'm not even sure. I, I, this is, I, I'm not sure if I'm fighting a man, a hippo, a hippo man, or what. But, anyways, he has a really weird RNG system. So, you never know really what you're going to get. And another unique thing about King Hippo is that he, uh likes to uh, drop his pants when you hit him in the mouth. I am really taking my fucking sweet ass time about this too. Anyways, uh... Another reason why he's really unique fight in this game is the fact that once you knock him down, he can't get up. He's the only one in the game that cannot get up under any RNG circumstance. Once he's down, he's down. It's over. Uh, it's a very simple fight, but he's got such a weird RNG that you don't know when his mouth's going to be open and when it isn't. So it's it kind of one of them deals. But, uh, anyways, that's King Hippo. Next up is Great Tiger. And that's, uh, I would say, as a four to eight year old kid, where I got stuck on this game for a long, 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 long time. And I have made it all the way to the end of the game before. I have never beaten, well, at that time it was Mike Tyson's Punch Up. Never beaten it. Never beaten it. Without uh, Game Genie for Nintendo. Anybody that knows what a Game Genie is, too shady you. But I made it all the way there. That's a devastating fight. It's uh, Mr. Dream on the NES Classic because of the licensing issues. So, uh, yeah, we'll do the Great Tiger next.